Good job. Grab a new breath. There you go. Oh, here oh, he goes. Here he goes. Push, push, push. <laughs> coming. Push. Okay, push, push, coming. Push, 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 push,
They want to say that people are going to handle bachelor. Why? Everyone's like, that's so evil. What? Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody gonna bash nobody for circumcision. Shit, everybody gets circumcision at the beginning of the time. I got a circumcision at 19. Ain't nobody, you guys didn't even know that shit. It's because there's a reason for the baby getting a circumcision. We didn't do it like for cosmetic work. It's something that Benny had, so we were scared that the baby, the baby was gonna have some. TMI, I had a condition where the skin didn't retract so the doctor was like hey yo this ain't normal we gotta snip that i was 19 years old when that happened and uh i didn't want that to happen to him so that's why we decided to do it now mm -hmm. and he didn't even cry he didn't even he like didn't cry at all. It was crazy. he didn't flinch he didn't mm -hmm. cry he didn't do nothing he was just like sleeping and he i was watching the doctor just like do it they even like strapped him down and everything like on the table i was hella sad about it but it but yeah he was good Big boy, ripped up mama. Really came out of me. Dude, I saw it. everything. <laughs> you should have seen it. It was intense. It was like five nurses all pushing down on her stomach while the, the main doctor was like trying to vacuum him out because he wouldn't want to come out. And they said that she was a big baby for her size. Yeah, he said that um, half a pound and he would have had to do a C-section on me because my birth canal was too small. He almost did a C-section and we're like, hell no, I'll try again. And then he made it happen. But it was intense, babe. Like, he was there, like, he was, yeah. he was grabbing your insides mm -hmm. and, like, stri pulling it like that. I felt it. I felt bad for you. Even now. Or Dude, you didn't feel it at the time, though, huh? I did. But, like, not as much because you had the epidural? It was like kind of, it wasn't like full, like you kind of wore off a little bit. Yeah, but we're obsessed with them, you guys. I oh, heard. oh, oh. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, you're a mom now. How do you feel? You're done. I'm happy. It's so cute. It's a cray baby. No, yeah, he, he's been fussy, but... I feel like last night he cried like every 20 minutes when you were sleepy. Every time I tried to sleep, you went, oh. He's too busy to crying. I was like, Chion. Just he, like he your does, mama. He does cry in my poor baby. Well, shit. They, imagine what he went through this past 24 hours. Imagine what I went through. He's a baby, though. Like, he got his, his head's a cone head right now. Oh, I know, poor baby. His head is misshaped right now, you guys, but uh, it's gonna go normal just because they had to vacuum him out. If you guys are unfamiliar with the vacuum, they pretty much, because he was so stubborn and didn't want to come out, we would see the top of his head through her vagina, and that was all it was. he was coming out. So they put this contraption inside, and it latches onto his head, and it vacuums onto his head, and they just yanked the baby out and that's exactly what he did and he came out with his head like a cone head like that but the, the doctor said that in a few days he should go back to normal yeah he should be going back to normal but he looks just like me when i was a baby i know i was shook i didn't expect him to look like that he had little asian boy eyes yeah. i did too my filipino side only came out when i was newborn and then that was it I wonder if he's gonna stay like this for like look more. I don't know, cause that's exactly what I look like. I I'm, know, literally your twin. We're gonna put a baby picture of me, Alondra, and the baby, and see who looks the most like the baby. He has none of my features. Maybe his hair. His hair. His hair's like brown. Oh, oh the cute. What'd you do to him? Yeah, he has my dimple. Oh yeah, he does. He has one dimple though, so half her dimple. <laughs> I'm doing a quick uh, food run, you guys, while the baby's sleeping. Man, it has been a long 24 hours. Even more so because the labor was longer, but man, big shout out to Alondra, man. She's been through hell and back while, throughout this whole pregnancy. She's been, you know, having severe morning sickness since we found out we were pregnant. She had blood transfusion. Labor was long as hell. I, 
I don't even know how many hours it was, but she was pushing for four hours, I think it was, maybe five hours. You know, Alondra's been amazing this whole time. Big shout out to her. Uh, she's she's a soldier. She's dealt with so much throughout this whole pregnancy. This has not been an easy pregnancy, you guys. Like, it started with severe morning sickness. She was on IV for two weeks. She fainted at least, you know, three times while being pregnant. The labor was hours long. I don't even remember how long it was. She was pushing for at least three hours, maybe three to four hours. Um, and the baby was being stubborn, didn't want to come out. They said the baby was big in comparison to her body size. So it was hard for the baby to come out. So you can imagine, you know, I was just there watching everything and she's a soldier, you guys, you know, go show her some love, you know, some extra love because she literally, I don't think she emphasized how hard this was enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just there trying to stay strong for all of us, you know what I'm saying? And just trying to comfort her as much as I possibly can because it sucks because there's times where I just feel helpless where I can't do anything about, you know, how she feels and all I can do is, you know, cater to her and try to, you know, Guess who's calling? What's up, Bri? What up, Bri? What are you doing? About to go get some food real quick. Doing this vlog thing. <coughs> Uncle Chris, call. Check up on his. Ya tu sabe. Tio Blends. You know, Tio Nopal. Congratulations, little Nopalito was born. Yeah, another no, no beats. Anyways, where was I at before he called? Um, all I want to say is, Alondra, I'm proud of you. You've been a straight soldier throughout this whole thing. I can't thank you enough that you brought this life here. You know, I can't, it's crazy that we have a family now. You know what I'm saying? Like. We have a family now. I can't wait for all the experiences we're gonna have as a family. I can't wait for the baby's first words, first steps, first experiences. I'm just, I'm excited. Right now I'm just a little tired. You know, we haven't had that much sleep in the past, you know, 24 hours, but um, I'm, I'm real proud of you, baby. You've been, you've been amazing throughout this whole thing. I love you, I care about you. Words can't even describe how thankful I am that this is happening right now. Like, it's so surreal. Anyway, before I start crying and stuff, uh, I literally, I was crying when the baby came out. Like, I, I was like, holy shit. Like, it was crazy. Like, at first, going into it, I was a little intimidated. I was like, yo, this is wild. I see I see juices squirting everywhere. I see Alondra screaming. Like, it was a little wild, but, like, soon, it's like, you just gotta be there. You know what I'm saying? All, and shout out to all the females out went through labor by themselves you know what i'm saying and it's kind of sad like i know through with covid and all that a lot of a lot of uh dads couldn't be there and to me it's like it sucks having you know having them experience that by themselves so shout out to all you women out there who done it by themselves and shout out to all the women who I'll, shout out all the moms you know what i'm saying because it's not easy you guys it's really not and uh if you have a baby on the way just be there be patient be patient with your girl be and just be there by her side because it is crazy you know what i'm saying and us guys will never know how it is anyways we out here getting some food i'll be right back we don't want that hospital food you know what i'm saying it, it looked like some straight uh hungry man tv meals and shit we cool we want a good meal we want some burgers and fries for them thighs. Let's see what these two are up to. I remember my first 20 milliliters went crazy. <laughs> Watch me get 30 milliliters. When you get my age, you'll go up to 40 ounces. You know? It's okay. Baby steps. You know? Just can't wait to get you home, to get you out of these hospital blankets, because it ain't doing you no justice. You don't have no drip here, baby. 
no trick. When you get home, we'll put you in the freshest drip. No need to worry, Daddy will dress you for Mama Dime Drip. Don't tell me. <laughs> he was smiling, Mr. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when you get older, we're gonna go to Disney World. And then we're gonna go to uh, Six Flags. And the zoo. I know you're gonna go to the zoo, huh? You don't even know what the zoo is yet. But your your um your room's gonna look at the zoo. Huh? Yeah. You're gonna have little giraffes there. Don't be scared. It's not mama, it's giraffe. <laughs> They're both <pulling up. laughs> Okay. Yeah. Nah. I don't know, I've never been there. You been? Nah, you never been there. It's your first day, liar. <laughs> I'm lying. I want to. But I don't know. I heard good things. Yeah? You too? Your mom be tripping sometimes, but... <laughs> His head is going back to normal for all. Oh, he's still got a little cone here going on. He's still got a cone in his bed, though. He's going back a little bit, little. I think he has He does, huh? I have an egg shape head. No, but he has an actual cone head because he, his head got stuck. I feel like he might have your hair going <gasps> You always make fun of my hairline. He got my dimple <laughs> and my hairline. My dimple and my hairline, the rest is all you. Does he have a big a big booty? He came out with the BBL. You're flat flat? You're flat like your daddy. You're flat like your daddy, boy. He came out gassy like his daddy. He's like I have to check his poop right now. Poor baby. You're gonna get roasted. And today is gonna be the day you get roasted. First day out. Oh, wrinkly foot head. Oh, wrinkly head. <laughs> wrinkly foot head. Boy, your feet so long. They look like they slap the floor when you walk. Boy, your feet so wrinkly. They look like my, my nutsack. <laughs> Boy. It hurts my stitches when I lie. Your head lie. shaped like Patrick Stars. <laughs> I literally can't lie. I'm gonna slap because I My Patrick Star I'm weak. Oh my god. You hear me pull my stitches. Be upset with that. I know he's gonna be upset. I'm sorry, <laughs> bud. <laughs> I came in here like, oh yeah, it's his father's day, it's father's day. Mm -hmm. I totally forgot. Daddy's first. Oh, father's day. Yeah, yeah, he does. <laughs> This one here? Yeah. Put that yeah. One. Oh, he hates go finally you like your car seat papas I'm gonna we're gonna tie him up and see how this goes he seems to like it he's chilling his first time using a passy he likes it he likes his pacifier so cute okay so 
strap them in. Ooh, I want this to be hella tight, is it? No, well, they said that it can be loose. I don't know if this is even too loose. I'm gonna put this up. Yeah. So cute! Dad, Bobby. <laughs> is he okay? His feet, he looks hella long. We're gonna see if this is correct first before we head out, but. The nurses help us with that. Okay. They tell us if it's correct. So handsome! <laughs> yeah, he looks so cute. Let's go home, Papa. Let's go home, finally. First time being out. Huh? This first time being out. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? How do you feel? Nervous. You look tired. Nervous for this long car. You got big feet. Huh? Hmm? You got big feet. you guys after a long what 48 hours baby loves the car ride he's chilling asleep right now um, can't wait to get home uh, my mom sister everybody's at the house and uh, I think uh, your mom's going right yeah. Laundra's mom so we're gonna go see see them and they're gonna see the baby for the first time I'm excited finally we can go home so I can rest we can all rest I'm hella paranoid driving like under the speed limit. Now we got that new playlist going. That is Dr. Two. 